What's going on guys? It's Kay from Beyond the Box, back with a brand new video. And today I got something a little cool on the channel. I've been buying a lot of stuff on Amazon in the past few months. And if you guys saw my recent video about best $40 ice machine maker on Amazon, if you guys haven't checked that video out, go make sure you guys do. It's a great video. It's a great product too. But I've been checking out products on Amazon and I've been checking out what's the best of what you can find on Amazon. And you can find a little bit of everything on Amazon, right? Well, I found the highest rated mini fridge you could possibly find on Amazon. Now, my girl said you could probably use this for makeup. So you females out there, you could use this for makeup because it's portable with the handle. So that's cool. It allows you to carry it with you wherever you want. And it looks like it comes with a few different modes. You set it to cool or warm, insert the power cable into the power DC input at the rear of the fridge, easy enough. Secure the fridge in place and insert the power cable into the 12 volt. Turn the mode to switch from either cool to warm. Connect it to a wall outlet. Okay, that's what we want. Okay, so set the mode to switch to the off position before connecting to the wall outlet. Insert the power cable into the power AC input at the rear of the fridge. Secure the fridge in place and insert the power cable into the wall outlet. Turn the mode switch on either warm or cool. On the other side here, it just has some icons of the stuff it does. So apparently it makes low noise. It's environmentally friendly somehow. That's what they say, energy saves. Perfect portability because of the handle. Uh, rapid warming and uh, efficient cooling. And we're gonna test out everything we find today in our testings because I have this infrared temperature gun. So we're gonna test to see how hot things are, how cold things are. It's pretty highly rated on Amazon, so I'm expecting good things from this mini fridge. So it features four liters capacity. You can either chill or warm, and it comes with a car and a wall adapter. So it's pretty versatile, whatever you need. box off so I just checked Amazon and it did say that this mini fridge was $45 and it is the number one rated mini fridge on Amazon so I'm pretty sure everybody loves this thing hopefully I do too it doesn't give any promises with what to expect in terms of in terms of uh, what temperature it's gonna give off, but you know what I just realized? Oh, there it is. Everything's inside the fridge. I was freaking out. I was like, did they really just make me have to go buy all my cables? Uh, I was about to be angry for a second. Okay, so this is the one we don't need. This is the one we do need. You can see, okay. Tightens really quick. The only way to open it is from this little handle right here. But as you can see, it's not that big in there. It's four liters worth of space. Not a lot, not necessarily a little, but it is portable. So how big do you really want your portable mini fridge? Initially, I was checking out videos for mini fridges, like the size of what you would find in a hotel room, because I feel like that would be pretty cool in my house, just a mini fridge right next to my bed with all my favorite drinks, right? Who wouldn't love that? Okay, now it's plugged in. We turn the cooling side on. So to test this video out, I have a few cans of Sprite. They're all current room temperature, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna infrared scan this. Okay, so it's currently sitting at a 72.2 degrees, around 72 degrees per can. So let's see what it's like after we stick one can in here for let's say like 20 minutes. And we're gonna test it by sending one can in here. You can actually sit about, I believe about six because it looks like you can sit one on top, another one here, another one here, and then about have four down here and about two up top. So it looks like you can sit about six cans of Coke or Sprite or something like that in there. Or if you wanted to pack makeup, if you're a girl or whatever but we're gonna stick one can in here to freeze for like 20, 30 minutes to see what it comes out like. We're gonna put one can in my fridge to see what it comes out like in 20 minutes. We're not gonna need this can of Sprite because I actually have another can of Sprite already in my fridge that is sitting there being chilled as we speak because I wanted my real refrigerator's temperature to check and see what it was compared to this thing. So we're gonna plug this up 
We're gonna close it and make sure it's all shut. And we're gonna come back in about 20 minutes. So it's 11.40 and we're gonna come back at 12 and we're gonna see what the difference is between the cooling in this mini fridge. All right, guys, it's been 20 minutes. So let's check out the results. So, this can was in my fridge for 20 minutes. It's 72 and a half degrees. This can was in this mini fridge for 20 minutes. Oh, okay, now it's saying 72 degrees. Okay. Hmm. Exactly sure how accurate this thermometer is. It looks like to be around 74 or 75 degrees each, which is weird because a room temperature can is 70, like between 71 and 73 degrees. I'm not exactly sure how accurate this is because the can that was from the fridge itself is 65 degrees. It was 62 degrees a second ago. Not exactly sure how for sure this thermometer is because I got this on Amazon. This was a highly reviewed thermometer too. So I'm not exactly sure what to believe, but this was a highly rated product on Amazon, the best selling mini fridge that you could find. It does have a handle for really easy travel. So uh, if that's a benefit for you, you want this fridge. Don't know how long it takes to cool or chill products or to honestly heat them because it doesn't talk about it at all. I'm not gonna say buy it. I'm not gonna say don't buy it. I'm gonna say buy at your own risk. I mean, it's a mini fridge. It's a small, tiny one. So you, you're getting into it what you know you're getting into. So uh, with that being said, I guess that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you've been entertained. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you guys did, smash a thumbs up. It really helps me out with the algorithm. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought of the video. And if you haven't done so already, we're giving an Oculus Quest 2 at 20,000 subscribers. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you always know when we post a brand new video. And at 30,000 subscribers, we're gonna be doing a PS5 giveaway. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.